This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. I am your host, Justine Spiritu, and today's guest for our final finale performance of Hawaii Food and Farmer Series, we have brought on all our VIP co-hosts throughout the centuries of our show. So today with me, we have Pomai and Maddie J and Steph. And we're just going to take a little time today <laughs> to kind of reflect on the purpose and evolution of the show and what, how we feel about it and all the progress and impact it has made across the island, across the state, across our lives. And the world. And the, the world. world. <laughs> and all the lives we've touched and changed. So many lives we've touched. So to kind of uh, go back again a couple years ago, uh, the original kind of impetus of the show when local food was um, had a lot of energy behind it, lots of young farmers, programs like Go Farm were kind of starting. Um, also, though, a lot of folks that have been farming on the island, obviously, for a number of years. And I know my kind of motivation was to kind of highlight and kind of profile some of these folks that were, were making our food. Um, farmers I had been stalking that were really shy, and I just <laughs> wanted to bring their story to light. And that was really kind of the start of bringing on individual farmers to kind of get their background. And we've had a lot of fun with that. Our original episode had uh, Yang mm -hmm. from Small Kind oh, Farm. Oh, Yang. Yeah. That's what you guys opened with? You <laughs> yeah. opened with I know. Yang. That, was, that was bold. That was Yang bold. and uh, Taku. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of the start. And then... Um, you know, I think I have off. something on that. I was wondering if we could bring up something really fast uh -oh. from the beginning uh -oh. of our show. Oh, Starting with this already. Yeah. Uh, well, Stephen's already taken uh, over. She's yeah. like, okay. No, I, it's perfect timing. We have a little video oh. of that very oh. first oh. show. Oh, look at you. Um, like you were so, prepared for that. You were, I was like, <laughs> pretending I didn't even take them notes. a loop. I didn't cut. take notes, but I did make videos. <laughs> so, okay. uh, our producer cue the, cue the video. Aloha and welcome to the very first episode of the Hawaii Farmers Series, uh, where we will be hearing stories of Hawaii's farmers and supporters. I'm your host for this series, Justine Espiritu, and we are so thankful to Think Tech Hawaii for giving us this opportunity. I will be having a co-host, Matthew Johnson of Oahu Fresh, and well, we're briefly going to describe the purpose and reasoning behind this show and then introduce our guests. So to start off with, um, we were interested in, one, bringing on Hawaii's agriculture movers and shakers to hear their story on how they became involved in agriculture, as well as ask them what do they see as how we need to improve Hawaii's food system, as well as get some background and personal information about them and kind of learn and understand why they love what they do. Well, it looks like I've been saying the same thing about the show <laughs> for a two years. That was great. But that was a great little walk down memory lane. But yeah, so kind of starting off with those farmers and then just understanding as we learned more about our food system or just tapping into our different networks, the variety of people we've had on the show has been really fascinating. And then even going from then as guests, uh, you guys coming on to then help curate uh, the future guests, I think has made it really interesting. And I don't think it's been any less relevant. It's cool. I just saw the last episode you had on Danya, Elemental mm. Accelerator, mm -hmm. and I did notice there were like 90 views. And so people are still watching yeah. it and are, yeah. and are interested. So it's, it's so cool to see that you guys are able to continue that and, and that obviously there's no lack of interest or, or people to, to bring on and talk to. Yeah. 
Well, I have a quick question. Why were you stalking farmers? Because that's not like a normal pastime of many people. Yeah, you know, it started with Ted Nakamura. He has mm, this, okay. uh, you know, he had a little bit of land. Yeah, you were working with him for a bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I would go and volunteer and try to bring people. And it's just, he just, the when he talked about the work he did in growing food, he had such a connection and such a mm -hmm. purpose behind it. And uh, I was working at Down to Earth at the time. And okay. he would just come by and chat. And at that time, it was just such a... A disconnect of what are people like that are growing their food? What's their day to day like? What's his lifestyle like? So I used to go up to the North Shore and just hang out with him and harvest and mm. make seedlings, and it was just really enlightening. And then the, com the conversations, even beyond growing food, just life in general that right. you get into. So it was it was cool when you tap in just a little bit of the surface of growing food. It just like opened up this yeah. whole network of people, and I'm like, I want to hang out with you all the time and hear what you think about everything. I want to share that story with everyone else. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think all of us were kind of stalking farmers. I mean, that's kind of how we all got into <laughs> like, We had no stuff. choice. I mean, I know. I like we're like trying to criticize Justine here. Whoa! But why did she think I've it was a criticism? Stories about you. She just was talking uh, about like I'm stalking <laughs> farmers with no background, so I wanted to know. Yeah. We just wanted everybody to know that you're safe with us. We're not. Yeah. Yeah, we're not safe predators. We're stalking it's you in a filmed. good way. Like, we're stalking in a super good way. We're just researching you. We believe in you. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. And we all, it's our, it's our some of us, it's our job. We have no yeah. choice. Well, one thing that I, I took some quick notes oh, here, just kind of talking too. about, <laughs> just the dip, one thing I really liked about the show was just the diversity of the different types of farms and different people, uh, different groups that are involved in trying to support local farming local food. And I think that was like the original intent where I think we all agree that there are these different uh, networks, different patches of groups doing local ag. And, you know, I think we all agree that it's it's all good. It's all needed. So I was just kind of looking at the list of people we had on the show. We had like our large institutions like Kamehameha Schools. Uh, we had you know accelerators like Mana Up, mm -hmm. Elemental mm -hmm. uh, Accelerator as well. And then Go Farm obviously had a huge um, I mean, there's probably at least 10 episodes. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. Um, go um, Farm, Go, go farm, farm Graduates. Go Farm, yeah. I mean, Go Farm was definitely, well, it's interesting. It's a, a thread that kind of makes its way through a lot of the episodes. That says a lot about Go Farm. And kind of through the system, the food system. Because it like they start like as these baby seedling farmers, mm. and then it's like scaling them, and what did they become, and then what did they make, and who did they work with. So, yeah. it, um, I mean, I'm grateful to have been like sort of even though at the end, like looped in to like this network um, of sort of like rene renegade mm. beginning farmers. Cause I mean, it, it's a little ballsy to become a beginning farmer. Yeah. Like, oh, we're just gonna go into it. But that this show per really provided like a platform, like no, there's other people who are stalking you and believing in you. Right. Yeah. I actually just saw a comment on a, on a YouTube think tech episode of someone who just is getting land on the big island. Mm -hmm. And they had commented on one of your shows. Oh, like, yeah? Hey, I just have oh, land. Yeah. How do I get started? What can oh, I sweet. do? So, uh, okay. A resource. Yeah, reach out to my fans, I guess. <laughs> 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 you gotta stay in touch with them a little better. Uh, yeah. Yep. And then yeah. you'll have to help them create a plan. Yeah. Mm. Ask them the hard and questions. I'll, I'll encourage them to join Go Farm. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Another cool thing that came up, which was a turning point, I think, for the show, was when farms started reaching out to us mm -hmm. to be on the show. And there is, uh, what was the name of the farm? The group from the Big tomato. Island, right? The Big Island, yeah. yeah. They, uh, a farm on the Big Island, I think primarily tomatoes. Mm -hmm. um, and they had a fundraiser campaign. Mm -hmm. So they had a GoFundMe going, came on the show, flew over to be on the show, and wow. kind of promote that. Uh, I'm not saying anything, but they did reach their fundraising goal after they were yeah. on the show. Oh, that's and awesome. it was one of our highest viewed shows. It had like 950 views. Wow. Yeah. wow. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, similarly, organizations uh, or farms being able to use the show as a platform was Feeding Hawaii Together. Mm. Uh, similarly, had a fundraiser campaign to raise some of the capital costs to relocate their um, food pantry. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, so awesome to kind of for the show to provide that opportunity. I also think for beginning farmers, specifically go farmers, it was a place for them to like practice. That's what I was gonna say. Like being public speaking, public speaking, being in the city, Doing like sharing your yes. story yes. in a way that's not three hours long. Interacting with yeah. humans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I mean, and I feel like one of my favorite episodes was when we brought John Augustine and his family over. Oh, yeah. 
And then he brought his kids in here and they freaked out in oh, here, like yeah, all on yeah. camera. I really lived for that. That's not the only we had group a few of kids. Of <laughs> yeah. kids kind of taken over. Uh, my friends from Philadelphia, yes. the Dilworth family, when they were here, yes. they had a couple of kids oh, in huh. here. I think we held the kids the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they loved it. They were great. Good family. We're here we just started interviewing we're the here. kids. <laughs> We also yeah. had some, we had a couple of guests from Puerto Rico, uh, friends yes. of yours. Nice. Uh, yes. We also had your friends from San Francisco. So it wasn't just uh, yes. Hawaii. Yes, global. Yeah. Worldwide. Global. global. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, the uh, urban ice cream folks. Yeah. Yes. Are you still in touch with them? They're like yeah, they are sister, actually, right? Yeah, they are actually, yeah, they are just opening a storefront in this kind of redeveloped theater area in San Francisco. Mm. So they're going to have their first storefront and they're kind of a, what's that, like, Landmark business, or um, what do you call like the, the main one, the highlight, the spotlight, the marquee, the marquee. <laughs> Anyways, they're doing great. Also, post yeah. Hawaii Food and Farmer interview, yeah. now the marquee show, yeah, uh, store. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely yeah. a door opener mm -hmm. for people yeah. to like. Even I think getting like making uh, definitely farmers like feel a value. Yeah. You know, and that like, no, we see you, and we can you tell us who you are, like. And it's it okay. and it's something that they can share with anyone. If that's a grant, if that's mm. just showing other funding um, opportunities of like giving them a little bit of a legi legitimacy, mm -hmm. even though we're not like CNN or anything, it does show <laughs> that they're able to tell their story, connect with news. an audience. Yeah. Ugh. Winning awards. Matt, we're gonna fight later, <laughs> and then um, giving legitimacy in that talking about public speaking, but also using it for funding opportunities. Mm. Um, and then what, I had one of my friends on, Casey, who owns High Pie, and she oh. sources local ingredients for her baking business. And she's originally from Wisconsin, and it was a chance for all her family in Wisconsin to kind of like mm. actually see what she's doing out here in cool. Hawaii. Because you can talk, 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 but then they're seeing photos and her yeah. sharing her story with like a stranger, essentially, and just making it something that will last forever. Like, it's going to be online forever. Unless Think Tank takes it down. <laughs> I'll take it down. But... Jay's back there right yeah, now, just like, deleting all the out, numbers. Like, <laughs> done. done. Well, what about any networking opportunities <coughs> uh, with your own businesses? Did Oahu Fresh make any new customers or new connections through this? Uh, maybe, I think, did anyone after the show connect with Local Harvest? What was, is that Steve on Maui? Oh, Steve Phillips. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, obviously with what we do with Oahu Fresh, I mean, a lot of the farms you bring on, it's part of the network that Already. we're trying to create, also with the Food Hub. So there's not, not like a specific, like, big deal that came out of a, a specific episode, but just kind of creating those relationships and definitely getting to meet some farms that I hadn't met before. And I think, just like you said, too, it's, you know, a big part of the, I think what we wanted to do with the show is that, we all know that these these farms, these groups that we work with, have such interesting stories, but they're not typically the kind of people that are, you know, having their Instagram page blowing up yeah. or not you know doing the interviews. Like they're they're more typically more reserved or just kind of focused on what they're doing. They're busy mm -hmm. people, so I think it was neat to kind of grab those people, and I think we all did a good job of you know pulling out their stories. Like why are they doing what they're doing? Yeah. I know I learned a lot and had a lot of fun. Um, having Koa on from Kakoa oh, Eden, yes. I think it was uh, one of my highlights where he was literally blocking. He was kind of like leaning over in front of the camera and kind of blocking my face. What? Why? And almost like, because he was just, he's just uh, like okay. that. He's, he's just getting like excited. Like the physicality of the yeah. I thought you meant he was like trying to steal the spot. Yeah. No, 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 no. He yeah. wasn't trying to. He just he naturally, has a large naturally presence. steals. Yeah, yeah, like he kind of has like this, this energy and you're like, just reel it in, come back, we just, let's tell them why you're here. But I mean, but that's how that Koa is. Safe. Yeah, anybody who knows Koa, I mean, he's mm -hmm. just, you know, so passionate about what he's doing in Heia and with so uh, Kakoa passionate. and Evie. Mm -hmm. And, and it, he's literally just like kicking over the, the table. We're going to take a quick break to brainstorm more favorite memories. And we'll be back in a minute. 30 this is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. When I was growing up, I was among the one in six American kids who struggle with hunger. But with the power of breakfast, the kids in your neighborhood can think big and be more. Go to hungeris.org to make breakfast happen for kids in your neighborhood. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, 
inviting you to come visit with us on Cannabis Chronicles, a 10,000 year odyssey where we explore and examine the plant that the muse has given us. And stay with us as we explore all of the facets of this planet on Wednesdays at noon. Please join us. Aloha. Again, I'm sorry. Aloha. Welcome back to a little stroll down memory lane for the finale episode of Hawaii Food and Farmer series. I am Justini Spiritu, an original co-host. We have Pomai and Maddie J and Steph, our legacy <laughs> hosts that are still carrying the <laughs> torch while I am uh, retired. So we're just uh, reminiscing and yeah. Steph did some extra reminiscing. Yeah, I just have a quick video that kind of, you know, we showed the beginning of your very first show. I wish you could have heard the sound. Um, <laughs> just you're like, and here is Maddie J. And then Maddie's there. Um, I just kind of did a little montage video of the 107 episodes. Today oh is our 107th episode. Oh. It's very short. It's very oh. short. <laughs> but I thought we could play that now where we are today. Yeah. Everybody needs to step in the group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was going to say before, yeah, I was, you know, it was really neat about the different themes of, of, you know, ag organizations that we had. We had, I mentioned the institutions, accelerators, nonprofits, Oahu RCD, who mm -hmm. you work for, really yeah. kind of took it on. I know you guys have been including uh, some of the episodes in your yeah. newsletters, same as us with at Oahu Fresh. And then also Big Ag, we had um, from Monsanto, Pioneer. Uh, we also had Urban Farming. And yeah, as I mentioned too, people from Puerto Rico, from San Francisco, and it does seem like we've done a lot, but yeah, I still feel like we've really only Barely scratched, scratched the, surface. the surface. I and know, that's what's I fantastic about, you know, there, there's so many interesting stories and out there. And that it's always changing. I feel yeah. like that's like, where there's, there's a lot of new school that mm -hmm. is really coming into the game, and I feel like that's exciting, and we were a part of that, we are a part of that, like, system of I think also multiple industries connecting mm -hmm. and that they all touch yeah. so I feel like we're we really tried to do that I mean certainly on like no when we look at all of this I feel like we really tried to show that food and farm is like everyone yeah yeah, yeah I agree yeah and I think just because this is a finale it doesn't mean anyone watching now can't revive it at any time right. and, and take it on because it'll be just as interesting and just yeah. as dynamic. It's a community show. It doesn't live just within us. Um, and talking more about those like different sectors, a, a couple, you know, for a couple months I started uh, diving heavily into like ag tech, and I had like mm -hmm. the drone mapping guys oh, from yeah. UH mm -hmm. on. I had. Um, the Agathon people on, and just kind of these different sectors where they're like, I'm not a farmer, but like I'm yeah. working with a farmer. I'm trying to help them in some capacity. 
because I sometimes, like a farmer, I get a little bit of tunnel vision of like, I'm doing this, 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 and this, and mm -hmm. I'm like, let's look up and look at the opportunities um, just with tech or restaurants or go farm or anything like that. Tourism, so, tourism education, yeah. I mean, fashion, health. Health. It's <laughs> yeah. like, uh, health and beauty. Biology. Well, it got to a point. It's like if we didn't have someone lined up, it's like literally we could just, who's the last person I talked to? I'm sure we <laughs> yeah, can yeah, figure yeah, out yeah, a way yeah, to tie yeah, Oh, my cousin's sure tie sure that's happening. I'm going to say last that. Last minute that, scheduling <laughs> of a guest? <laughs> that that would sounds never ridiculous. No, yeah, yeah. No. Not everyone does it, but that is a formula for some. <laughs> that is like, all right. That's what's great about our topic. You know, yeah. it's just it really is relevant. Every mm -hmm. person's work touches on it. Um, similarly, awesome about, I think, our topic was the background image that we got. Mm. I don't know. I mean, we were never in a spaceship you know, thank God for that. So, thank God we always have these beautiful of... landscape backgrounds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very thankful. How about favorite episodes, favorite moments? I remember my favorite moment. All right, you start with that. Say, when we had um, Nick and Tim on from North Shore Land Trust. Okay. So, you know how when we're getting ready to go to break, we have kind of our signal where you kind of tap on someone's oh, leg to let them know, like, hey, hey we got to go to break. <laughs> And so, you know, Nick with North Shore Land Trust is sitting right next to me, and he's talking about, I don't know what he's talking about. Going for it. Right. Yeah, he's going for it, just super passionate. And, you know, I think it was Zuri at the time is kind of talking oh, to my ear, like, hey, we got to go to break. So I tap him on his knee, and he immediately just freezes. <laughs> <laughs> like, deer call in the headlights. Uh, and I immediately know, like, right away, I just know, like, right. what's going on yeah. in his head. Like, he thinks, like, He's You're saying something to, you he shouldn't be saying. Stop, cut it off. And I just start cracking up laughing, and that makes him even more, like, <laughs> freaked out. And then we just spent the rest of the episode <laughs> making fun of him. Yeah. And he hasn't spoken to me again. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Building relationships. Building relationships. <laughs> yeah. Making those bridges happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, love, I have a similar memory of someone getting caught off guard. I think another time we maybe didn't have a guest. So it's like, great, we're going to, Maddie, we're going to interview you. We're going to talk about Food Hub. Mm -hmm. It was kind of new and developing. And then we threw a kind of surprise and brought George down. I think this is when they were uh, oh, yeah, doing. They were, they were upstairs with they were upstairs. Uh, Impact Hub. So he came down and started talking about, uh, we were interviewing you and then you were saying you started the hub, and they're like, wait, what about my hub? Like, I was the first hub. <laughs> There's that tension for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still to this day. Who's <laughs> yeah. the original hub? Yeah. Uh, you haven't always been warm, huggy, mm -hmm. cozy yeah. stuff. Food and farm is not always yeah. warm we're and controversial. Yeah, 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 we're, we're like, pretty controversial. Basically we're on the, the more we're edgy. COVID show. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're edgy, you yeah. know. Boundless. How about you, Steph? A favorite? Um, my favorite show was actually having you on the first time <laughs> because it was like you were half host already and half mm -hmm. guest, and like you know us so well already that you'd be like really informal and giggling. Agritourism is really capitalizing <laughs> on the tourism market, and then you'd be like, "Right, Maddie," or like, and I just love the like ju juxtaposition of like very formal Pomai with yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> So that was actually my favorite. Aww. It was just really fun. Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. I, when I got reeled into this, it went <laughs> to this group like, hey, so what are you doing for the next year? I think about that even like the last time I saw you. Like, let's yeah. all do this together. Yeah. I'm no, never going to see you again. That was how it happened. Well, whatever. You, when you first came on, you're like, I hey guys, I want to do this every week. I was so hungry for it. I wanted <laughs> it so badly. I was like, yeah, this is so we cool. We were like, contain that. Yeah, contain like, that mm, why don't you just do one see and see it how it goes? That is advice for the world, though. Like, when you're getting really super into it, like, just do your one, do your one, do your one year. <laughs> do your <laughs> one year. Do your one year. Yeah. So you got to make a little bit mm -hmm. of a long-term yeah. commitment. But uh, no regrets. It was super fun. Yeah. And I feel like, again, just keeping that connection in all of our communities sort of together. Like, it, I think it really is about community leadership. I mean, it's food and farming, but it's so much more than that. It's like everyone knowing their part in what we're all trying to do and like being okay with that, you know, like, and, and okay letting other people do their part too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm super grateful. And so 
feel like I just get to spend 30 minutes here talking about favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else you got on your sheet? That, that's it. Oh. 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 Anybody, <laughs> <laughs> oh. anybody else? Justine has one. Um, so I already did the vids. I only have a phone. Yeah. Uh, I had a good one too. I mean, it was really fun. You know, we. Well, I mean, we have a fun time hanging out, just bringing people on, setting them up with microphones, putting them on screen, and but people would get really, really nervous yeah. about it. You like have to tell them you're super comfortable. Probably I won't name who it was, but it was a relative of mine. Maybe it was my <laughs> last episode, but she was so nervous. And oh, she was yeah. like, "Don't I don't want you to ask me certain questions or something. And then I started to ask her a question. And it's it's live. You know, we have the right. microphones. I started asking something about some how much space or how much area. And I start asking, and then she like leans and she's like, don't know what's really, don't know what's really, like right into her microphone. <laughs> like, and all I could do is like crack up laughing. Right. But, um, okay, that's, like, we're going to move on. Yeah, really yeah. Well, you don't want me to ask you. I'll go another direction. Oh, yeah. my gosh. But, well, speaking of being nervous, my you guys asked me, I was a guest on your show, mm -hmm. and then you were like, you should try this out. And I was like, oh, okay. And in my mind, I was going to do one show, and then I was going to be done. And I had a friend of mine like write out a script for that first show, and I memorized <laughs> Like five <laughs> pages of script because I was so nervous. I knew it was live. The live aspect yeah. really made me nervous. So it just like sounded like I was like reading a teleprompter because I just memorized this like an actress. Wow. And then like the next show, I was like, I got this. And my second show was like terrible, at least in my mind. Because I was like, and uh, so yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have memorized the script again. It's like every show I've done. <laughs> like every show I'm like, so tell us about where you're going next. <laughs> but that's why I think that was the fun of it being every week, because then mm. you just you don't have you just literally yeah. you don't have time to stress out about right. it. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what about future plans for us? Like, where are we gonna? Because it's not over. We're still food and yeah. farm and community. We have two minutes left, so okay. if we want to each take thirty seconds. seconds. Yeah. Uh, I could start. Okay. I mean, a little bit of a culmination of some of my work with the Walk and Fresh and and even the show. Uh, we had applied for the oh God, local food, local places, uh, community food plan, which included elements of uh, transportation as well. So oh. a big community plan was kind of put together. And because of the Department of Health, that's kind of taking the initiative to organize some of these groups with kind of one part of that plan. But even in my role with Bike Share Hawaii, um, because of how inclusive food is with transportation and making communities livable and healthy, um, I'm still able to kind of uh, work on a piece of that project that was still kind of related to food. Nice. That's always cool. fun. Right on. Yay! Connecting uh, alternative transportation and local yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, putting all the pieces together. Bigger system. Uh, I Sounds like another think tech show in itself. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Don't. Okay. <laughs> that's right. That's right. 30 seconds. Um, okay. okay, 30 seconds. I feel like I have more of a message, and I feel like that message <laughs> is... Um, there is so much opportunity in agriculture and food and farming, uh, but people, I think, really have to be diverse and look at what keeps them relevant in the marketplace and the business place. They cannot be afraid to collaborate. They cannot be afraid of the world and the 21st century or old school and in real, real, real life connections. So that is my message. Stay with us, stay farming, stay eating local food, and believing in like the system and our mission. And that should be yeah. our last thing. I think you oh, should sorry. Just yeah, say that again. Yeah, we'll, I'm good we'll, with that. You guys go and then we'll bring it back. Yeah. 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 Say that again. Um, so yeah, so still doing a lot of work with the Oahu Food Hub, which is a shared use um, commercial kitchen space for food manufacturers. And the cool thing we just did was we installed um, a renewable energy, more efficient, uh, refrigerator system oh. that we're actually hoping we can actually use with farms who need to have on-farm cold storage. So it's a neat, neat kind of sub-project. Um, so always innovating, trying different things, trying to make things work. And then this Sunday, uh, we're going to partner up with uh, the bookshop and curiosities in Kamuki and do a little pop-up uh, Christmas market. So Sunday oh. afternoon, two to four. Right. Um, so I hope you guys come by. And they're starting a food-themed book club. So there's that, too. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm still with the Wahoo rc and working with farmers, doing conservation planning, but also branching out into carbon sequestration and seeing how we can create a carbon market for farmers mm. so we can pay them for all the great work that they're doing and help supplement their income with farming, but also helping to train that next um, cohort of agricultural leaders that you're talking about 
um, recognizing that farming is just not that image of someone out in the soil weeding. It's managing people, it's managing logistical operations, it's accounting, it's agritourism. Recognizing that there are so many opportunities, but helping younger people see that so we can continue agriculture in the future. Sweet. Right on. I mean, I feel like I should say, and I'll be at Go Farm Hawaii. Yeah, I feel like everybody's in a plug for their business. So if any of my people are watching, like, gofarmhawaii.org go or follow us on social media, and you'll know what's up. We always got a lot of things going on, but I feel like we all always have a lot of things going on, so I feel like we're, we'll always be connected. Aww. Anything else? Let's end on the good note. Get Cheers. Yeah, are we are we doing her? drinks? <laughs> are, we, are we getting drinks after the show? What, yeah. What's, so what's happening after the show? Finale. Um, I, what? I don't know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we're so go. I think we're done. We're still <laughs> So you can stay in touch with us uh -huh. by emailing Steph. What? <laughs> Email Think Tech and they'll forward yeah. it to me. Following our organizations, all of our organizations. <laughs> oh, yeah. At Oahu RCD. Do you have another video that you At know? Oahu no. Fresh. No. At Oahu Fresh. At Yeah. At there we go. And Vicky. that's it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye.